Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about differentiation. We're talk about the power constant and sum rules, where we differentiate each function with respect to x. So, if I was given this function, y equals a negative one half x to the fourth plus three x to the five third power plus two x. Okay. So, <clears throat> if I was to simplify. All right, so I derive it, right? Take the power rule of each part individually and the sum rule is just kind of combine them all. So to do that, I have dy dx. The root of this power rule says 4 comes out front, 4 times a negative 1 half. x to the 4 minus 1, power right there. Plus 5 thirds, next part, same thing, power rule applies. 5 thirds comes out front, front times 3. x to, excuse me, 5 thirds minus 1, plus and then power rule here is really that 1 up there, right? 1 times 2, x to the 1 minus 1 power, okay? And eventually some of these things you won't be writing all these, okay? So now let's do some uh, simplification here, okay? So dy dx is equal to 4 times a negative 1 half is a negative 1 half x, right? Now we're negative 1 half, right? 4 times negative 1 half is a, um, not negative 1 half, <laughs> negative 2. Getting ahead of myself here. Ugh. Negative 2, I can't believe I did that. And then x to the 4 minus 1, which is 3. Plus, now here, 5, uh, five thirds times 3, well, 3's cancel, leaving which is a 5x. Now what's 5 thirds? Let's put it right here. 5 thirds minus 1 is the same thing as 5 thirds minus 3 thirds. You need that fraction, which is now 2 thirds, right? So we have 5x to the 2 thirds power. Plus, this side here, it's just 2, right? 1 times 2 is 2. x to the 0 power 1 minus 1. So let's do our final little simplification here, and then we're, then we're going to be done. We have dy dx is equal to a negative 2x to the positive third power plus 5x to the 2 thirds power plus 2, or x to the 0 is 1, so we just have a 2 right there. And there we have our final answer. So let's recap. We're given y equals a negative one half x to the fourth plus three x to the five thirds plus two x. Okay, and simplifying that or deriving it, simplifying deriving it, is my power rule. Four came out front, and then I subtract the exponent by one. Same thing. Five thirds came out front for that part. Subtract the exponent by one. The one came out front. Subtract the exponent by one. Simplifying now, four times negative one half is a negative two. Uh, four minus one is three, so we have negative two x to the third. Uh, 5 thirds times 3 was just 5, and 5 thirds minus 1, we showed there was 2 thirds, so we have 5x to 2 thirds power, plus here, two, uh, 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 minus 1 is 0, so we have 2x to the 0 power. Don't really need that x to the 0 power, um, and the more comfortable you get with this, you'll be doing less steps. Um, but we have uh, x to the 0 power is just 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. So our final answer here is dy dx is equal to a negative 2x to the 3rd plus 5x to the 2 thirds plus a 2.